So welcome back to some games we've been playing recently and we're nearly at the end of the year Getting ready to do my games of the year and all of that But I gotta ask what have you guys been playing? Let us know down below in the comment section and up there as one of our games of the year is Shimigami Tensei 5 yes. that Kim has annihilated How many hours did it take you? I think it was around 90 95 hours. It's ridiculous. It's <laughs> crazy Just a couple. Yeah, cuz it as usual, Kim had to do every single side quest and I get it. I can't help it. Yeah. That, it's just, I love side quests. I and know. Of course, what everybody loves about this game is making the demons. Yes. I sat there, I think for a whole day, just yeah. going nuts. Yeah, just making the demons and all that. <laughs> the one thing I'll say about the game mm. is um, we still think it's a 9 out of 10 game for Definitely. sure. There's some, there's some glitches and some weird things with it. Mm -hmm. But overall, this is a powerful game game beautiful looking beautiful game. looking game and just I, I i never got a chance to say it in our review and i really want to say it today yeah the demon designs oh. are so good and i'm gonna say something absolutely outrageous mm -hmm. i think they're the best demon monster designs yeah. in the business it's fun yeah, yeah it's yeah. incredible like the level of design the workmanship i mean the lore behind the each lore. one. The lore, yeah. I mean, I the, love the lore. They're behind. boring from every single religion out yeah. there on the yeah. entire planet, yes. and melding them, and just co coming up with their own concoctions, which yeah. are surreal. And e even that, really, I, I even put it on oh my Twitter. Oh God! Yeah, I think Mara. <laughs> yeah. That design alone like, is so. Why? <laughs> it, it's so wild, and that's been a design that's been going for years. Yeah. But it's so crazy to see on a Nintendo console that, 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 that made it. Is there anything you want to say about Shin Megami Tensei? I think, but... I think the, there's only one downfall mm. about the whole game and that is the map. I hate the map. Yes. It's not my friend at all. No. I mean, the thing about this game is there's different layers to it. Yeah. So you'll be going up a ramp and you'll think you're going off on the map and it's somewhere below. It's just, it confused me so much. Yeah. And to be honest, I felt like I had to do a lot of squinting. I mean, yes, I'm wearing glasses. Yeah. But oh my god, there'd be points where I'm like, where am I? I can't even tell on the map of where I am. I took a photo of him <laughs> right at the TV trying to figure it out. I mean, the abscesses yeah. are one thing to cover the map. Yeah, that. That, 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 that's, that's crazy, but when you're in a dungeon, you're like, what level am I at? Like, yeah. Where exactly am I? I know, you were really frustrated with that. There was a few times where I had a bit of gamer rage. Yeah. But other than that, it's a great game! It's a great game! <laughs> we love the music, I mean, oh, so, oh my, my goodness. god. They're so, we're waiting for a soundtrack. Definitely I mean, can't wait for that. Yeah, I'll, I'll pick up the CD soundtrack, mm -hmm. definitely vinyl if that comes out, yeah. and all that. And I, I, I took a video of Kim, and I just want to show this, because, okay, before we get into it, Kim does something that is really funny. She, every time she goes to play on the Switch or any console, you know, she's played on a, a lot of consoles and all that, it's amazing that the controller is always charged. Isn't it amazing how it automatically, Kim never plugs in the controllers ever. <laughs> So I'm always going, you know, plugging it I in. I trust you to do it. It's just like when I'm playing, you're like, did you save? Did you save? Well, yeah, did I know, I know, I know. So you're also. I I'm a little bit nervous that way. That. But so, so there's this one time she's playing uh, Shimagami Tensei, and she's like, she's like, <laughs> wait a second. She's like, my my controller's dying. It's a shock to her. It's a, oh, I, no. it's a shock. So she had to plug it in. Where to, were you? Why yeah. didn't you plug it in? Right, exactly. So she, we plug it in. So she had to go right up to the screen <laughs> like, like the old, old the old Nintendo days. Uh, and it, right, right up close and she's fighting a boss and I just filmed her and it was so funny because Kim's like dancing kind of like fighting this boss oh, and then then she stuff. wins and she's like doing this point and it's not a Zeke Heil I'll just show it right now And that shows your, your absolute entertainment with the game, and that's that feeling when you beat a boss finally. So good. Yeah, some of the bosses are challenging. Yeah, a bit. Yeah, no, they drive me nuts. 
<laughs> I, I mean, you're trying to weaken them with their weaknesses, but you still have to go hardcore with other methods. It's definitely a strategy game. Yeah. For sure. Would you give any advice to anybody starting off playing the game? Like some things that you wish you could have done in the beginning of the game? Spyglass. Yeah. I just, I don't know what it was. I thought it was just an item that wasn't meant for anything until I'm like, yeah, you need that spyglass. And yeah, and that helps you figure out their weaknesses. Yes. So you just use that. And mm -hmm. especially those half moon guys. Oh, yeah. You use it on them. That's very important. Yeah. I mean, and we we didn't do that till later, like halfway through the game. So yeah. that would have given us a boost to begin with, probably, and all that. And so, yeah, we come to the end of the game, and uh, you know, we can go through the game again. I think after Maybe. ninety after ninety hours, we're taking a small break. There's alternative now. endings. To I the know, game. I <laughs> know. I'm, there's so much more to do, but I mean, yeah. it's an incredible game. It's really. It's it's really hard for new players, I think, to jump in. Could I you would think so. Yeah. Could you imagine? Like this is your first game. Overwhelming. You It'd yeah. Be overwhelming and all of that, but uh, really a lot of fun. And so for myself, yes, I have been playing. So Kim has been doing that, <laughs> and on an evening, I've been doing something that I used to do a long time ago, and I'm playing Halo again. I'm playing the multiplayer. And I'm playing it with all my friends, and it's yeah. amazing. I be, it's been great to play with Rob and against Rob, and, <laughs> and all of that. It's been a lot of fun just to get back with the guys again and just do some multiplayer Halo. Now, I know in the game that you can pay for things and stuff like that, microtransactions. Mm -hmm. I don't even pay attention to that. No. We just make a map. We all jump in. We change the physics of jumping and do all sorts of crazy things. You guys things. go nuts in that game. We, we really do. We have the rocket launchers. That is our main weapon. Are running around. It's, just, it's so cheap. <laughs> it, 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 it is really cheap and it's really a lot of fun. We have so much fun playing it and I, I just kind of like it that it's on Game Pass that I, I subscribe to that service but I can just play it and it's for the most part works really really well. I mean there's been no lag. I mean anytime I die it's because I suck at the game and <laughs> that's the one thing that I'll say is I'm not a great Halo player. Right. But I just like playing the game, yeah. and uh, I'm not one of those people who's going to be uh, a speed running person going around headshot, headshot. I am not that guy. I am far from that guy. <laughs> and but you know what? In the game, what's so great about Halo multiplayer is there's sometimes when I get on a nice killing spree and I feel like, hey, I am that guy. And then all of a sudden, I die like six times in a row. Like, I am, yeah, I am not that guy. I am sucking a big time. I mean, you were telling me some funny Halo stories from yeah. back in the day as well, right? I mean, my experience with Halo was hanging out with my friend on spring break and her guy friend came over and all he did was play Halo for a week straight. That's all I watched him do. And you're like, hey, yeah, yeah. you, just, you just hang out with your friends back then and you just waste your time away? And I asked him like, so why is it called Halo? <laughs> He's like, do you see that ring around? I'm like, yeah, that's, that's Halo. I'm like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty funny. That was before I was really into games. Yeah. <laughs> I just gotta show this. I mean, oh my goodness! So I, I played the original Halo, and it was a it was a big religious experience for me. It changed. Yeah. I, I got into first person shooters, and I loved it. And then after that, I I got all the rest of the all the Halos. I got all the Halo, all, of them. all the Halos right here. Got to three, and then I got to four, and thank then goodness. Halo ODS, uh, ODST here and uh, Reach here as well. I did them all. But when the last Halo came out, mm. I just I just. I don't know. I was just like, I'm haloed out oh. and I stopped playing it. And so it's kind of nice to have a break for a bunch of years and then mm -hmm. jump back into Halo. And now it's now it's a lot of fun. It's really cool playing the game with everybody. And it's kind of been a bit of an Xbox week for me. Yes, it uh, has. Yeah, because I, I was playing that and Forza 5, which is just remarkable yeah. stuff. My God, playing it at 60 frames a second in 4K, <laughs> racing around in Mexico. It's remarkable. It's a beautiful game. Favorite racing games of mm -hmm. all time, the Forza series now for me. The, yeah. They're unreal. I mean, I like that they're so arcadey. You can just jump in and dr drive around, and it just feels so good. And then just seeing your friends driving past yeah, Pete you. Door. Yeah, Pete Doors. Yeah, Pete Doors. Yeah, they're like, oh, you're playing with Pete? Like, no, that's his ghost. Yeah, his ghost. There's <laughs> echoes from the, their games and, and all that. I'd see, you know, uh, Victor Lucas, and I'd smash into him or, oh, you know, do that, just like that <laughs> yeah. or, and get all my friends out of the way. And yeah, I mean, have you been? The thing is, the funny thing is for Kim, mm. she hasn't been playing. It's Shin Megami yep. Tensei Month. Man, it's been, crazy. it's been crazy how much you've been a part uh, into that. Oh, one more thing about Shimagama Tensei, I want to say. S there's some sad news here. We have a bit of a funeral here. Mm -hmm. So, um, 
I am never a a ordering a special edition from Amazon.com ever again. I, I order from .ca, it's usually okay. I ordered this special edition, and it's going back, by the way. I'm actually sending it back. Here it is, you're like, oh, but it looks perfect. No, no, all the corners, every corner is bent in. Every single corner oh on the thing. And how do they package it? Well, that's the thing. Yeah. In a bag. In a bag, not in a box. A beautiful piece of artwork right here, which I like to call it. A beautiful piece of art put into a bag, yeah. not a box. So I'm going to return this um, by going Craigslist or something like that and buy, have to pay a little bit more money. It really bugs me because I had this pre-ordered like five months ago whenever it came out. Yeah. And I just want a really nice version. This is all Damage. bumped up, damaged and it really, really kind of sad there. So. That's the one frustrating thing. I mean, geez. So, other than that, we'll see. The only other thing that I've been playing was um, Guardians of the Galaxy yeah. uh, on the PS5, and I, I went in there because I'm like, a lot of people were saying good things about it, and mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't know. I'm not a big superhero video game like, the guy. The movies are amazing. Like, how's this going to transfer to yeah, a game? To a game, especially when they don't even use the same actors. I was yeah. like. Uh, and that's what threw me off. Every time, I'll be honest, every time I saw a trailer, I was like, nope, 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 nope. And I was like, you know, all my friends are saying it's pretty good, so I decided to give it a go. Mm -hmm. And it's actually quite surprising how good it is. And I can't give any first thoughts. I'm only a couple of hours yeah. in. But the graphics are there. Great. Yeah, the, the humor is there. Uh, and the characters work. Yeah. It's like an alternative Guardians of the Galaxy. And That's I, a good way to put it. Yeah, <laughs> and I really love the cosmic Marvel Universe. Yeah. I think that's a, a fascinating thing in space, all the different characters and a lot of personality in here. There's a lot going on mm -hmm. with this game in general. And I, to be honest with you, I think this is gonna be the game that I play over Christmas break. Nice. Because it's got that fun feeling. It just feels fun to play. It's not, yeah. like Shin Megami Tensei is very, very labor intensive of the brain. Yes. Yep. To con you, you need to be concentrating all the time, where this game is something you can get lost in. There's a little bit more cinematics than I would like. I'd rather, I like a lot more gameplay than the cinemas at times. You get that. That even happened with Ratchet and Clank earlier in the year, but I mean, some really good stuff here. And I'll ask you guys, uh, to begin with, what are you guys playing? Let me know down below. So anyways, guys, until next time.